Let's get to Julie now for a closer look at some of the market moves this morning. Julie, what are you watching? Oh, so I'm going to step away from stocks for just a sec. We'll get back to them. But I want to talk about what's been happening in the bond market because it is just so extraordinary. The decrease we have seen in yields, the increase that Jared has been hammering home that we've been seeing in volatility here. And so this is the past month that we've seen in the 10 year. Of course, it was a milestone when it went above 4%. We were seeing really across the yield curve 4% at least for the two year, the 10 year, the 30 year. Well, it's a very different scenario now, as we have seen the failure of SVB, as we have seen uh, more concerns start to come in uh, and questions about what the Federal Reserve is going to be doing. And so now we're seeing a 10 year yield of below three and a half percent, forget 4%. So just something to continue to track here. I'm also, of course, continuing to track what's happening in the banks. And here is the regional banks. I've got it on that one month. So let's go back to today because we continue to continue to see See these steep, steep declines here. There is obviously still concern around the regional banks, particularly the likes of FRC, et cetera, about what is going to happen next, right? Is now this bank going to be required to be shut down or bailed out? Certainly there is a confidence issue, it seems, when it comes to some of these banks. This stock down 30% just today after that bounce we saw for it yesterday. For the large banks, too, we are still seeing some weakness there. The likes of JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley in particular, are off by more than 2% today. Let's take a look at the sectors too, because here we are still seeing weakness in energy. That has been a consistent theme this week, even though we've been talking a lot about the financials. Sneakily, the energy stocks have been quite weak as well as we have seen that drop in oil prices that we talked about with Phil Striebel. Real estate down as well today, and then the financials there right in the middle of your screen. Consumer discretionary, interestingly, is up today about two tenths of 1%. So not a runaway uh, leader, but it is leading to the upside. Quick check on the NASDAQ 100 movers as well. And there you see a much more mixed picture here as the attention really has been shifting towards the financial industry.